It's been a while since I've enjoyed a Ratchet and Clank game. I'm a longtime fan of the series, Up Your Arsenal and Ratchet Gladiator being my favourite games growing up. And then the PS3 came out along with a new trilogy, which I definitely enjoyed, but not as much as the first four games. I'm not sure if that had anything to do with their quality, or if I was just about to enter the I'm too mature for this phase of childhood. And after all the spin-off games and the video game based on the movie based on the video game, I wasn't quite sure if the Ratchet and Clank series was for me anymore. And then I turned on Rift Apart. The game opens with a scene straight from the dreams of my eight-year-old self. Some unknown figure on a dangerous mission, darting through a grim yet somehow still vibrant futuristic city, stealing vital information for their desperate resistance against a nefarious rain. And then we switch to Ratchet having a bit of a crisis. What if everyone thinks we're washed up? <gasps> oh, what if we are washed up? Huh? Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics, <laughs> unless you count smiling and waving. The first bit of gameplay acts as both a tutorial and a quick catch up on the series and relevant characters before we're dumped into the first of many great set pieces and shortly thereafter set off the beginning of Dimensional Collapse. Hey! What did you do? After being... <clears throat> A rift apart, and falling into a whole new dimension, Clank is picked up by another Lombax by the name of Rivet. Thinking him kidnapped, Ratchet follows. Clank! When we discover that Clank has been taken off-world, the game switches point of view, and we find ourselves controlling Rivet. Where are you taking me? Not a lot of writers can pull off the POV switch, but it was not only vital to helping us as players warm towards Rivet, it was well executed. Rivet is constantly accompanied by Clank, whom we already know and adore, and it's through Clank's patience and growing fondness for Rivet that we learn to love her too. You okay, Bolts? You came after me. Rivet, like Ratchet, is good with her hands, a little bit reckless, and has her heart in the right place, so it was very easy for me to come to like her. It was also probably helped by the fact that she's voiced by the magnificent Jennifer Hale, who is best known to me as Female Shepard from the Mass Effect series. You would not believe my luck today. My trip to Nefarious City went totally sideways. I wrecked my ship and I- Aha! You go on and leave that one to old Mort. There are several planets to explore throughout the game, but you can only explore them with either specifically Ratchet or specifically Rivet. So you end up switching between them pretty often. It also means that you never really feel like you've spent too long with one or the other, which is pretty good. Rift Apart has everything you would expect from a Ratchet and Clank game. Zany weapons, zany characters, the weapon upgrade system, special Clank levels, hacking levels with its own optional storyline, and the classic collectibles like Gold Bolts and Raritanium. Something I was most grateful for was that the collectible hunting wasn't a grind. So shiny! There's only 25 bolts and 10 infobots, and there's an optional side mission where you pick up the which reveals all the locations of all the collectors you might have missed. And I, as an adult who's pretty over the grind, <laughs> was very grateful. Yes, yes, well done. Now there are plenty of previous Ratchet and Clank games that had all of these elements, but simply having them doesn't make for a great Ratchet and Clank game. Clank. It's the writing. I've already mentioned how well written Rivet's integration was alongside other new characters that I haven't mentioned, but the dialogue, interpersonal relationships, and character arcs, they're not only reminiscent of the original games, in fact some of them even parallel the first game, but they're well thought out and executed. We? I thought robots are not your thing. It is by no means a deep and intellectual game, this is still a kid's game. Can't anyone print instruction manuals anymore? But it's not juvenile either. Never did I think I'm too mature for this. I just had a ripe old time my entire playthrough. On my way, buddy. It's not often that I replay games, but as soon as I finished Rift Apart, I started it all over again, but this time in challenge mode. Bolt multiplier, new upgraded Omega weaponry, and the joy of just reliving the awesome story that Insomniac has created. Is that a Kraken? While nothing can quite beat the nostalgia of Ratchet Gladiator, I'd happily call Rift Apart one of my favorite Ratchet and Clank games. Thanks! If you are a fan of the series or are looking for a new game for your ankle biters, I do recommend you check this one out. So we lost the Lombags at the taxi stand. You know what? Bad respect for hiring us, but we're gonna need like a bonus for all this weird stuff. A bonus? I'm already paying you 
generously. Yeah, but like, my guy got dragged through a hole in the ceiling by a crack. Jobs can be dangerous. Hey, hey, bro, I hear you. I see you. This wasn't in the contract. 